All right, as promised, I'm going to show you guys how to animate your keyframes with graphs. So uh, without further ado, let's just get into it. So as you can see, there's this ball here that I'm moving to the right. And it looks kind of weird when it moves because there's no weight behind it. There's no momentum and there's no velocity too. So if it stops, it just stops abruptly when it's supposed to slow down before it stops. So uh, typically, the easy way to do it would be to just highlight the keyframe that you want and then just press F9 or you can just like select one of Adobe's many presets to achieve the tweening that you want. But uh, the issue that I have with this is it's kind of very subtle. It's not really uh, obvious enough. Like what if you want it to be more obvious? Uh, this is where the graphs come into play because it gives you more flexibility and control over the momentum of your objects. Uh, I'll show you how. So just click on the little graph symbol here, by the way. To open your your graph view and you'll see this line going from the bottom to the top and the one where you pressed f9 is supposed to create these handles for you to control so uh, you can't do that now because um, what you need to do first is just go ahead to your position values right click and press separate values so now when you press f9 on anything you're going to see your handles okay when it comes to the speed, it depends on the, how many keyframes that you have together. So basically, if you see any lines going straight, uh, there's no curves in it, then that means they're moving in a consistent speed. But that also usually means that they're moving the, the fastest compared to curved lines. So curved lines obviously are longer than straight lines. So when you're using curves, you're basically adding more keyframes. So more keyframes means slower movements. Uh, it's curved because you're trying to jam all those keyframes in the same amount of seconds as the straight line would take. So if you want to end your movement slowly, then you have to curve the handle on the last keyframe and vice versa. If you want it to start slow, then you have to curve the handle at the beginning of the keyframe. I'll just show you some examples. So, so how fast or how slow these things are going to move depends on um, how you curve things or how you make things straight. So let me show you another example. This time I want the circle to start slow and to end slowly. So this means you have to curve them on both keyframes. Uh, it's going to look something like an S. You might notice that it kind of feels like using your curves in Photoshop and that's exactly correct. Like as you can see now it's moving slowly and then fast in the middle and then it ends slowly. So let's take a closer look on how that works. So if you just focus on this middle part, this straight line part, there's like five keyframes here. Um, if, we, if we were to compare that with the amount of keyframes in the curved line, there's 10, 10 frames. So now if you play, it's, it's slow again. So in the curve now, from uh, 10 keyframes, let's try to reduce the amount of keyframes to five instead. So we just take this handle and move it to the right so the straight line starts earlier a bit. And as you can see, when I play it, it starts a bit faster now. So I hope you get it. Uh, if you don't, just uh, tell me in the comments below. Uh, I'll try harder to explain this next time. So there you go. When you want to use curves, all you need to do is remember these two things, uh, how the straight lines work and how the curve lines work. And then you can use these two things to uh, do all kinds of tweening. You can check some here. The S thing is not just the only graph that you can use. Uh, there's like a thing that looks like an arc. There's a thing that looks like a W and uh, all kinds of things that creates different types of momentum and acceleration to your movements. All right, I hope you liked that video and I hope it helped you guys a lot. Please do subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet and I'll see you in the next video.